All right, so it's November. We've had a couple of days of cold and snowy weather, but it's nice and sunny today. You can see the snow up on the high country there. Well, I got another truck. I'll try to uh, video a few trucks today while the weather's nice. So this one is a 1953 um, half ton truck. It's a B-4-2 dash B dash 108 so that's uh, B4 series B indicates the second B indicates a half ton and the 108 is the wheelbase so this is like a little short half ton and this one is a project truck which means to me that it's missing its engine and transmission but it has pretty good sheet metal all the way around it and uh, so this could be somebody's really nice project. And you can put, I'll try to get a uh, shot of the inside of the engine compartment on this one. You can see how big they are. So you can put just about anything in there. And you can make it however you want. So there you go. Blank canvas waiting to be drawn on. And uh, this little truck came from Nevada out by Reno. And... Uh, so it's it's pretty rust free. Of course, it's missing quite a few parts, but that's part of the fun of building a truck to get the way you like. You know, you don't have to have six volt positive ground anymore. You don't have to have uh, analog instruments. You can have 12 volt starters, all that stuff in these trucks. It's just got to do it so we'll zoom in here a little better see what we can see and this one has that 51 to 54 front grill shell style has uh, 54 has these balloon style fenders on the rear instead of the cycle style that's on the b1 and b2 series like you see behind it there and this fender, they started making these in 53 on the same dies that they used to make those fenders all the way up to 1985. And they just changed them a little bit, moved them front and back a little bit, but they've all been stamped out of the same dies there in Michigan. Of course, this is good Pittsburgh steel with the Detroit manufacturer. Now this 53 is the last year for the split flat glass windshield. Those are fairly easy to replace. Any auto glass place can cut those. It does have the corner windows which is a nice feature and it's got the short little pickup box. Okay, so we'll just try to go around here a little slow like and see what we can see. See if I can open the engine compartment hood. There it is. Man. There you go. That's big enough to put just about anything in it. Pretty good hood. Door handle's gone. Look inside here. There's a car show sticker. <laughs> There you go. Of course, all the dashes 
been taken out of this one, but a lot of guys like put that new digital stuff in there. Now there's an interesting feature right there. That that hole is in the right place for a radio, but that's not the right hole. So somebody did a really nice job of cutting that hole for a push button radio there. Yeah. You see, it was originally a green truck. Inside's all nice and green. That's an original heater down there. Battery was underneath the floorboard. I'll be darned. It didn't latch. Closed pretty good, though. That pocket in the middle has been cut in there extra. That didn't. That's not an original pocket hole. Just had two pocket holes, front and back. You know, I could part this thing out. Because there's... Oh, I guess all total, they're still close to $2,000 in parts there. If I wanted to, but that's too nice to take apart. But that box is good and straight. The fenders are good and straight. Tailgate's nice. Yeah, little short box. Somebody would want that. I'll tell you which fender gets beat up. It's the one on the right side. For some reason they, they have trouble backing up to the right. That's why you should always back from the left. Let's see how this one looks. Well, it don't look bad. Somebody's done a little work on that. You know, primered some spots. Floorboards are gone out of the bed. Usual. The running boards are nice. Oh, he's a good little truck. Oh, drive passenger side still has a handle. Let's see if this opens. Oh, sticky. Little sticky on the latch. Uh-oh, getting in the sun again. I'll see if I can turn around. I'll look this way for a while. Back up slowly here while I wobble back and forth. You gotta remember, all these trucks I'm showing you now, they're, they're not as old as me. I'm a 49 model. Missing his grill. Grill shell is correct. I probably got some of those pieces around here. That one's got holes in the hood. Right there. The hood ornament was an after optional aftermarket. So but uh Got the holes there. Nice little truck. Good project. Obviously, I got more projects than I'll have time to do. Give me a call, 970-986-1020. Thank you.